Marijuana, whether for medical reasons or not, is a debate that's happening all across the country. It's nothing new. But you might be surprised to hear, though, uh, is that Texas lawmakers have now filed a record number of bills relating to marijuana. As of tonight, there are 32 of them and counting. So what's going on here? New at 10, Andrea Lucia explains all those proposals. Chris Grisolia uses his old woodshed. And welcome back to Grant's place. To make this videos video advocating 15. for medical marijuana. In 2016, his son William collapsed during a seizure. Nobody knows how long he was there, you know, by the time they found him, but it was too late. It's a death Grisolia believes cannabis could have prevented. Needless to say, I got pretty damn mad. He's now lobbying the legislature for a change that advocacy groups believe could happen this year. 2019 already has set a record with 32 related bills introduced with several more coming down the pike. Seven bills filed so far seek to expand the Compassionate Use Act, which legalized medical marijuana in Texas for epilepsy patients. Republican State Representative Stephanie Click told me she's working on a bill to expand access to patients with multiple sclerosis, spasticity, terminal illnesses, and long-term degenerative conditions. There's also bipartisan support for reducing the penalty for marijuana possession, doing away with jail time for cases involving small amounts of the drug. And retailers selling CBD oils could find clarity in what's legal or not, with several bills aiming at licensing and regulating that industry. Rosolia says now they just need to get the laws passed. We still got a long way to go, though, and short time to get there. Now, the current Texas legislative session wraps up in May. Any bills not passed by then likely won't get their next chance until the next regular session in the year 2021. We're going to be tracking progress on the bills. We will, we will let you know what happens. Reporting live, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.